I'm back in my bag now. Back in my bag now. Everything is mine, and if you ain't heard, better check my background. Welcome back, everybody. Mike with Loaf Pack Breaks. And as promised, what I've been super excited for is the big pack opening for Shining Fates. I have right here 70 packs, and I will be opening them all for you guys. Of course, it may have to be a two-part video. We'll see how far we get within uh, 20 minutes or so, give or take. Uh, but uh, I finally collected these packs together from the tins you see in the back, the ETBs, some V-boxes, and some pin collections. So, uh, yeah... I'm super excited about this. Uh, let's see what we can get. Let's get going. Uh, since time is a bit of a factor, I've already gotten them laid out from the art styles. Obviously, Charizard will be going last, and we have the most of those art styles anyway. But yeah, let's get to it. And if you haven't already, if you're new here, please like and subscribe. And feel free to leave any kind of comments you guys would like. Let's see card let's get to this I'm excited I've been waiting for this for a while even if we don't get anything outstanding this is just gonna be a fun time reverse hollow syllabi and a hollow Lux ray so far so good one for one how about that pokeball guy all right I mean, a hollow is a hollow, of course. I highly doubt I'll get through these uh, these uh, 70 packs in the time frame, but uh, I'm going to give it a go. That's why I'm giving the code cards out as I go instead of waiting until the end of the video like I normally do. Save some time. Reverse hollow and mana pee, huh? All right. Took me a lot longer than I expected to accumulate this many packs. But as you all know, retail is super hard to come by. And if you guys haven't noticed, I have my good luck more Peko in the background again. Reverse hollow. And Professor's Research. So 70 packs. Hollow and the Manaphy. Well, first pack was pretty decent for the holographic, but uh, you know, we still have a lot to go through, so no point in getting discouraged. All it takes is one pack to change it all. One decent or good pull or amazing pull. Boss's orders. Hmm. Oh. Usually the pull rates are a little better than this, from my experience, anyhow. You know, I will be honest, though. Um, me and a friend of mine managed to get our hands on a... Ooh, there we go. Shiny Sobble. That's a win. Did manage to get our hands on a couple ETBs recently. And, uh, you know, they... The, the plastic wrap around them was different when we compared it to 
an ETB we had previously had. It was a little loose fitting around it, which, as you know, it's all like typically super, super tight. And uh, the that the serrated edges where they melt the plastic together, or whatever it was, it seemed it was off. It wasn't like it normally was. I'm not saying anything was tampered with, but I mean it's it's not unlikely, honestly. Not with how things have been lately. An increase in fake cards, even fake booster boxes I saw on some guy's channel. Solo and Celebi. A couple Celebi so far. Hmm. At this rate, you get through at least half of these packs. Oh, look at that. That is a cool card. Kyogre, Kyogre. Look at that beautiful thing, huh? Oh, and a Ditto V. Nice. That was a good pack. That was a good pack for sure. Now it's starting to feel more like Shining Fates. Move these out of the way here. Let's get a, a secret rare and a ditto V. More Peko and another shining, shining Toxel. And, oh, look at that. Cinderace VMAX. That is a cool card. Another good pack right there. That was another good pack. Two in a row. Two in a row. Let's keep up that, that energy right there. There's going to be a lot of cards to show at the end of this video, I'm assuming. A lot of good shinies, these VMAXs, secret rares, hopefully a lot of, a couple of, you know, rainbow rares. That'd be nice too. Reaper's Hello, and a Celebi again. Not that Celebi's bad. When that Pokemon first came out, I thought it was awesome. Had that Mew vibe to it. Yanma. Quickie. Oh, another shiny. More Grim. What's behind it, I wonder? And a holographic thievel. Nice. Another good pack, I'd say. Two hollows in any pack is a good pack. Whether they be full art or not. This is one of the one of the cooler sets for sure that has come out. And over half of these cards are shiny holographics you know i mean that's just really cool especially if you're a collector flipping through the back half of the set in your book or whatever and you just see a bunch of shinies and stars everywhere it's really cool just added another reverse hello more peko the good luck stand <clears throat> I wonder how many of those will accumulate in this video. Coughing. Peko. I think this is going to be a good pack. Reverse Hollow Trainer and 
Poke Kid, full art trainer card. Nice. See, I had a feeling there was a coughing and a more Peko in the beginning of the pack. That's what I used to gauge them before, and you, usually that means it's going to be a pretty good pack. Oh. Horsey, Let, Reverse Hollow and DD, and oh, cool, Al Creamy V. That's a cool looking V card. Look at that. Okay, stop wasting time, Mike. <clears throat> Last of this art style right here. And apparently I shifted the camera at some point in time, huh, guys? That's interesting. Surprised I didn't notice that. Too focused on the cards and what I could possibly pull, I guess. Another one. Oh, which went right past the rare, huh? All right, on to the next art style here. Let's move these forward a little bit and fix the camera a little bit more. There we go. Sorry, a little bit of technical difficulties. Fixed. Hopefully. Hmm. All right. Reverse hollow and a Zarud. packs and should be a good pretty good chance to pull something crazy right you would think anyway oh shiny intellion and celebi Abundance of those Celebi cards, that's for sure. Yep, more Pico, not reverse hollow, so I'm not gonna put them up there with the other guys. Oh, shiny coughing. I like how this guy looks. And another hollow thievel. Shining coughing. I believe I pulled him in another pack with uh, with a wheezing, a holographic wheezing right behind it, which I thought was really cool. <clears throat> Reverse hollow and Yan Mega. Come on, more Peko. There's three of you guys back there. in this pack is a more peco. 
Good luck. Yeah. We shall see. It was the first card. Oh, Rillaboom VMAX. See? That more Peko. Telling you. Good luck and uh, more Peko V. What do you know? How do you like that? That is pretty cool. You go, more Peko. You go. That real moon V Max is pretty cool. Pretty good pull, in my opinion. Shiny real boom V Max, mind you. different art but it is a reverse all over and a Devo holographic Devo I'll put him up there uh, with the uh, other original good luck art style Echo. This third in line might be something. Yeah, look at that. Got him again. And and another hollow. There you go. That was a good pack. That was a good pack. I am happy with that one the second second time we pulled that guy huh? these packs are a little uh a little sticky a little tough i always feel like i'm gonna destroy the cards trying to open the packs more peco reverse hollow and a manaphy So these packs, I think, as you can see, they came out of the tin, so they're a little scrunched up at the top and the bottom. Well, a couple of them are like that. You'll probably be able to tell when I pick them up. Makes it easy to tell which cards came out of the tins. I just hope that they're not damaged around the edges. Or Peko. I remember in a, I can't remember, a video or two ago. Look at that. Yveltel. Is that how you say his name? There's something behind him. Gredent V. Look at that. Another secret rare. Good pack. Oh, but like I was saying, I opened up uh, some of these small tins for a different set and the cards were damaged around the edges. From being in the tin. I'm not a big fan of that, but I mean, what are you gonna do? <clears throat> what is this? Huh? What is going on here? And another Marpeco V Max. Look at that. One yet another hot pack. Happy with that. More Peko V Max, huh? I like that one. That one is cool. More Peko coughing. Good pack. Yes. Shining Lapras VMAX. Oh, what is this? 
an El Creamy V Max. That is a good pack right there. That is a hot pack. Oh man. I didn't forget to bring the, the sleeves this time, but I'm hesitant to take the time to put them in at the moment because of how many packs we have to open and slight time frame problems. I mean, I will put them in sleeves as soon as this video is over, immediately before I do anything else, so that they are protected. And I would like to throw out there the first person to uh, leave a comment. We'll get one of the cards drawn today. Random card, nothing, nothing special ordered or anything. Just a random card. But I mean, if you comment with the card that you might want the most, you know, maybe, maybe that'll be the one you get. Another Thievel. That is, if you are the first person to comment on this video, of course. All right, last art, art, last pack for this art style. And then I will be showing that other little stack of code cards that I had set aside from the, the ETBs and so on and so forth. And then I'll have to end this video, unfortunately, but look forward to part two for sure. Look, Shining, Shining Leon, Leon one I don't know how to say it, I'm sorry versus research um, but look forward to part two it will be coming out really shortly after this video I will not be keeping everybody waiting forever for a week I should say or so on or so forth however it's usually done I'm just ex as excited as everybody else for this premium collection shiny fade sell the grass Melt the glass, train box. All right, well that is it for this video, everybody. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Oh, shoot. And uh, look forward to part two for sure. Go through really quickly, really easily, but gently I should say, the cards we pulled in this video as of right now. Man, I hate touching the faces of these cards. It really do. It breaks my heart. Got a few holographic devils there, I see. So far, I think this is a outstanding start. All right, guys, look forward to part two. Until next time, like and subscribe. In my head, making coffee. I recorded these raps inside of my basement It used to be a closet in Chicago Shit, I made it <laughs> 28 and I ain't made it I'm a failure then Nah, I don't like to live my life by comparison Nick told me my rapping was too aggressive On the spectrum, it has my relatability questions